what it is guys it's your dino we're back it again with some more gigantosaurus dino park this is episode three and if you did hear the little bump then that was sebastian the kitty cat saying hello so we're gonna get straight into it we're gonna start off with our adventure on with tiny and we're gonna be driving with tiny and we have unlocked in the last episode we unlocked rock and total as you can see that is their cool little vehicle there but we're gonna stick with tiny and we're gonna play through it until we get that gigantosaurus rex there so, there you go we've done savannah we've done jungle now we are on mount oblivion so here we go we're gonna stay on hard because that's what we've been playing on i will be quiet during the cutscenes, just so you know There you go that was a little um cutscene that you get it's got some nice talking in it so we're gonna get straight into the race here we go as always i i play with a, an adaptive controller i use my xbox elite v2 controller as my adaptive controller it makes it a lot easier to play games for me so i can actually get involved and play games with my community and i i swear by these things they are super great for me. Ah, Sebastian is not helping right now. He's trying to trying to help, but he is not being helpful. He's pressing buttons, leaning on the controller, making it extremely difficult to drive. But I love him anyway, my boy. Even though he's a pain in the butt. Oh, around the corner. And as always, I just like to point out that I was given this this game key from Outright Games, who I am an ambassador of. It does not affect my thoughts and opinions. They are my own. I make those decisions myself, and I'm not influenced in any way on what my opinions are when it comes to the games that I play. So everyone can know that my opinions are my own. You guys can enjoy a completely unbiased review when I do them. I've really enjoyed playing games like this, and I think that cart games are a classic staple of any gamer's childhood or growth because you can't not play at least one cart game, even if it's Mario Kart because it's a staple and, and everyone should experience it they've done a really good job with this it feels fun uh, for me and i've enjoyed the fact that it's dino themed that kind of does add additional points for me must have dinosaurs should be like a a rating system <laughs> does it have dinosaurs if it doesn't negative points <laughs> but that's just me being silly i kid obviously having dinosaurs in it doesn't make it a great game it just means that i'll like it more because i like dinosaurs if they did representation of dinosaurs correctly though because there are some games that misrepresent dinosaurs real bad so that, that, that being said we just got the first level done i enjoyed that one that was quite easy even though the start was kind of hectic three points to me mount oblivion level one done Next race, here we go. That's in mode.
Oh, I didn't do the um, boost start there. I wanted to see just how how slow my start off was there. Wanted to see just how much get up and go that this little cart has, you know? Oh, around the corner. Hey, we caught up. And we're in a lead. I think. For how long? I don't know. Because I can hear them beepers. I think that someone is coming for me. And I use the, the, the drift boost as much as possible on this thing. Because drift boosting is super important in most cart games. But I think they're definitely super important in this one. And I know that Marsu is right on my tail. Oh, I got him. I got Marzu. Ha ha ha. Oh. There's an, there's an achievement. Bloop, bloop. I love achievements. They're always fun to get. I've been I've been a, a, a bit of an achievement hunter for years. I, I I used to do it like competitively with a group of friends and we'd always have like competitions so you could get most in a month so on and so forth and stuff like that but as i've i would say that as i've grown as an adult and stuff like that i stopped caring as much for that like trying to be competitive but i like earning achievements for my own enjoyment now you know instead of trying to be the best out of my group of friends i just found that having a high game score does induce a lot of hate amongst the community there are people that will message me and go wow almost 400,000 gamer score Do you even touch grass bro go outside and touch grass and stuff like that i'm like okay <laughs> sure <laughs> makes me laugh but it is what it is you know are you guys achievement hunters or not? Let me know. Or trophy hunters. Ooh, time for me quiet time. It's nothing. And that was the cutscene. I will get straight into the race. I don't think that this has a lot of like races or anything like that. I feel like it's very, very short and sweet kind of game. And it is something that you can pick up and play. It's more aimed at the, the co-op side of it, playing it with friends and family and, and the youngins. Getting them involved. I think that that's the main focus and target of this game i feel like that is where you'll find the majority of the content tied to this game because that's one of those things that is definitely prevalent within a lot of um within a lot of cart based games there isn't much usually when it comes to like adventure mode or story mode and stuff like that but it's usually very heavily aimed towards the aspect of this is a game that should be played with people but it's it's one of those you know it's one of those where you can at least show off pretty cool gameplay even if it's very small amount but I've done a very good job of it. Oh no.
Yay, got him. Come on, go around the corner. Hey. Go, go, go. I have a feeling that someone is going to try and launch a sneak attack like that. Damn it. Stole, lot, stole first place from me. That should still be enough to win. T-Rex stole it from me right at the, right at the end of the race. Next race. Don't forget, guys, the cut thing. And I appreciate everyone watching. There we go. I was discussing. And I will say this thank you to Vengeance, Sweet, Cryptic, Ding, and Shadow Blade, who have been going absolutely above and beyond on the on the content of late. I have had to work my butt off just to keep up with the amount of comments that they've been putting on all the content. So thank you for that. I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys give. But yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. Not good. Go, go, go. Oh, that's a big stomping feet right there. Ah ha ha, I knew he'd throw out a protective little attack there. I kind of tried to aim towards getting one out as I took that one. Around the corner, we. And we fly in. Ow, no. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on, get out the way. Oh. Go, go, go. They are catching fast. Go, go, go. Oh, yes. We took first. That was a close one. There was some back jostle in there. We um we got that one. There we go. Unstoppable in ten races. Next race. I think this may be the last race of the tour. I'm gonna play cutscene mode.
think Mazu is supposed to be an Anki, but I'm not sure. I haven't watched a cartoon before. I heard there is one. Because my little boy is a bit too old for cartoons like this. He's reached that point where pretty much all he watches is YouTube. So it's like getting him to watch anything other than that is like high on impossible. I am struggling right now. I'm in sixth place and that's just not good. <clears throat> Come on. From last to first, let's go. At some pro driving right there. I'm not getting hit by that dinosaur again. Go, go, go. Oh, around the corner. Doing really well on this one. I hope everyone's been enjoying the content that we've been putting out lately. Because it's out to you guys that we grow. But thank you very much for all the people that have been actually commenting and being in, being a part of the community. That's been amazing. Really do appreciate you. Oh, take that corner. Oh, go, go. Or T Rex catches up with us. Oh. Oh, not for you, sir. Oh no! Get back here! I think they got me on that one. Yeah. I got a second on that one. Hopefully that's enough. Still a shake champion. There we go. We got number one. Look, all the trap. The Cretaceous champion. And we unlocked T Rex. There you go. That is everything that I unlocked. 20% completion. There are skins that you can get. These ones are interesting. Back to back. Don't know what those are for. I know stats. Hey, you can play with friends. You do online, as you can see. Or I think it's just cats go up. You've got great normal standalone races. Got this tutorial. They've done a good, they've got a, done a good job with this game. So, as always, guys, greatly appreciate you checking out the the video. Thank you for watching. There will be a review of this coming. So, remember, guys, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated, and it's super important to get the channel to grow. 
love your faces i will see you in the next one be safe be well have fun gaming and as always see you then in the next one same dino time same dino channel bye guys